Mute. Mute. Check.
Mic's on. Okay, are we, are we broadcasting live to the web? Okay, hello and welcome to the 2018 University of Lethbridge Open House. I'm very glad that you could join us for discussion of the MFA and MUSE programs, our graduate programs in fine arts here at the University of Lethbridge. Uh, my name is Justin Blum. I'm an assistant professor of drama and I'm the current graduate coordinator for the drama program and a member of the School of Graduate Studies. Uh, my job today is to give you a brief, inter a brief overview of the fine arts graduate programs that we offer here at the University of Lethbridge. And our graduate programs in the Faculty of Fine Arts include a Master's of Music degree and Master's of Fine Arts degrees with majors in Art, New Media, and Drama. So I'm just going to run through some of the admission requirements, some of the facts and figures about those programs, um, and then I'm going to introduce Tyler Heaton, who is one of our MFA students in New Media, who will talk a little bit about his experience, the experience of being a graduate student in Fine Arts at the University of Lethbridge. Um, so the Master of Fine Arts degrees program, which I'll talk about programs, which I'll talk about first, are thesis-based studio programs with a minimum program length of two years, which is also the usual time to degree for students enrolled in them. Uh, students are required to complete a project or major production, as well as a written thesis in support of their project. Um, the minimum requirements for entry for all of the Master of Fine Arts programs, I'm going to talk about all of them in general first, and then I'll talk about each one specifically, um, are a University of Lethbridge baccalaureate degree or its academic equivalent from another recognized degree granting institution in the discipline of interest or in a cognate discipline, um, so a related discipline. Uh, the University of Lethbridge reserves the right to determine whether degrees and other academic programs completed elsewhere are equivalent to a University of Lethbridge baccalaureate degree. Um, we also require a minimum grade point average of 3.0 on a 4.0 scale. So we will recalculate your marks on a 4.0 scale, whatever scale you may have used, um, for the last 20 graded university level semester courses that you've taken in your bachelor's degree. Um, and the criteria used for reviewing admissions and deciding on admissions include things like the applicant's record and letters of academic recommendation, uh, the applicant's body of creative work, exhibition and performance reviews, publishing record, um, as given in your resume, and audition or interview is required for most of our programs. Um, and we also consider the feasibility of the project in light of the available resources. Um, so can we support the project that you're trying to do? Um, is there a faculty member in residence at the university with whom it would be beneficial for you to work? Um, and the final criteria that we consider is our ability to financially support students. So we do try and financially support students to the extent that we can, and we sometimes limit our intake on the basis of our ability to do that. Um, so that's the Master of Fine Arts programs, which are, as you can see, full-time study programs. There are no part-time options for the MFA. Um, so each degree program combines theory, research, and practice and allows the student to concentrate in specific areas of interest to produce a unique and challenging thesis that will be a major contribution to the development of your artistic career. Um, the University of Lethbridge provides exceptional facilities, a high level of technical support, and both on the university and in Lethbridge in general, a lively community of artists and arts and culture, um, as well as an an environment dedicated to overall academic and creative excellence here at the university. I'm going to talk first about the MFA program in art. The MFA program in art offers students the opportunity to join a dynamic community of contemporary visual artists, art historians, and art scholars. Um, it's for a graduate program in Canada, it's a relatively small program with generally very high caliber students. Um, and this program encompasses material critical and conceptual investigations in contemporary art through an exceptional level of interaction with faculty, staff, and visiting artists. So there's a lot of individual attention available to our students in the MFA art. Um, we have an extensive visiting speaker series called Art Now in the art program that enriches the MFA experience by creating pretty much weekly opportunities for discussion with a spectrum of practicing artists. Um, we've had architects, curators for, of both local and national uh, galleries, critics, historians, people from all different facets of the art world. Um, and Lethbridge is also home to a number of artist collectives and art galleries, including the Allied Arts Council, the Trapdoor, which is an artist-run uh, art center, 
and several contemporary art galleries, including the University of Lethbridge Art Gallery, which is actually a terrific gallery. Um, CASA is a major city-supported gallery, the Niche Gallery, the Trianon Gallery, the Parlor Gallery, and the nationally acclaimed Southern Alberta Art Gallery, which is a major regional gallery of contemporary art with at least four, four new shows featuring two installations in each show uh, every single year. Um, the, so the program offers students unique opportunities for exhibition and dialogue with the vibrant cultural community here in Lethbridge. Um, the program is located in the UofL Center of the Arts, and the art department is supported by excellent studio resources with a wide range of outstanding technical workshops and digital facilities. Um, students have access to an extensive collection of HD and analog camera equipment, lighting kits, video, sound equipment, bronze casting, all, all sorts of um, technologies for both newer and older media in visual art. Um, and a completed application to the MFA art program will consist of the following things. An unofficial academic transcript, that's if you have not yet completed your degree at the time of application. If you have completed your degree, you can just go ahead and send an official transcript at the time of application. Um, if you are offered admission to the program and haven't yet completed your degree requirements for your bachelor's degree, um, you do have to submit an official transcript to the registrar's office before enrolling. Um, a curriculum vitae, including your educational background, your academic achievements, your work experience in the arts and otherwise, if it's relevant. Um, as well as other relevant experience to your discipline or area of study. Um, a letter of intent, and this is an important part of all the applications, uh, 1,500 words maximum outlining your particular research interests and proposed project of study within the field of art. Um, we need three references as part of that application package. Uh, so three people who are willing to submit a confidential assessment um, so that gets submitted directly to the admission committee, doesn't go through you. Uh, who can speak to your background preparation and your suitability to do graduate work in art. And then we do have an English language requirement. So if your first language is not English, um, regardless of your citizenship, uh, you do need to provide acceptable evidence of English language proficiency for graduate study. Um, the university has a list of degrees that you can do which satisfy, so uh, degrees from various universities in, the US, or in Canada and around the world um, can be used to satisfy that requirement. Um, there's also the test of English as foreign language that can be taken and the IELTS test, which can be taken. Um, and in addition to all of those requirements, there is the portfolio requirement, which is very important for all of our degrees, um, but particularly for the MFA in art. And I'm gonna talk about that on this slide. Um, so the portfolio is a vital part of the application and should include representative samples of current work in either still or video formats as appropriate. Um, so this is really the opportunity to showcase the work that you have been doing to the committee. Um, the portfolio, we have, are now going to an integrated portfolio submission system where the portfolio is submitted right alongside the application. Um, and the portfolio for the art degrees can include up to 20 digital images or 10 images plus up to five minutes of video um, if video is the medium which best shows your work. So that's the MFA in art. The MFA in drama degree program is also a two-year degree program. It's a two-year full-time studio degree um, that combines applied and academic study of drama. Um, the drama department itself produces a robust season of main stage productions. Uh, so we usually do four main stage productions a year. A student-run season of studio productions, which is also features four uh, productions every year and numerous other theater events. The department's activities are supported by outstanding facilities, shops, and studios. Um, the expertise of faculty members within the department includes things like design, performance, technical production, dramaturgy, dramatic literature, and theater history. Um, the university's liberal arts focus also offers opportunities to take courses and explore collaborations within and among the humanities, sciences, and social sciences. So there's lots of opportunity to get involved in wider ranging things if that's appropriate to your project. Um, and areas of study that we have hosted for MFA degrees in the past have included design, performance, technical production, playwriting, devised theater, um, theater for young audiences, um, dramaturgy is a possibility. So there's a wide range of particular focuses that you can articulate within the drama degree. Um, the application requirements for this include the university's standard online application for graduate study, 
um, similar to the art program, and you'll also need to include, again, unofficial transcripts or official transcripts if you've already graduated at the time of application, a curriculum vitae, uh, a letter of intent with, again, 1,500 words outlining your interest in pursuing an MFA in drama, uh, three references, the English language proficiency, and a portfolio. Um, and in addition, depending on the specific, um, this is the case for all the programs, but it's particularly often has been an issue for drama, um, depending on the particular area in which you are applying and, the, and uh, the particular discipline for which you want to pursue your study, um, an interview or an audition may be required at the discretion of the committee. Um, the portfolio should include, again, up to 20 digital images or up to 10 images and five minutes of video. Um, video often is what we receive for drama. Um, and once your portfolio and ap application have been evaluated, you will be um, contacted for a interview if that's necessary. Um, along with the portfolio, it's important to include, particularly in the case of drama, um, the, a list of the dates, titles, and media of included pieces that clarify the work and just really let us know what this is. Um, so it's not just a video that says my theater work and doesn't tell us anything about where it's from. Um, the image files must be either in RGB color or grayscale so that we can see them correctly. Uh, our system accepts a maximum resolution of 1200 pixels on the long edge. Um, and JPEG format is ideal. Um, video samples, any modern video container will, will generally work. Um, MOV, MPEG um, formats work well. They need to be viewable with just standard video players like QuickTime, RealPlayer, and VLC. Um, other things to be aware of if you're thinking of applying to the MFA in Dramatic Arts. Um, if you are a design student, you'll need to submit a portfolio of images not exceeding 20. And if you're applying for far away, from far away, um, we like to do in-person application or interviews and auditions if we can. Um, but the committee has been able in the past to make alternative arrangements uh, for interviews by Skype and that sort of thing for students applying from distance. Um, so that's the MFA Dramatic Arts program. Moving on to the MFA in New Media. Uh, the MFA degree in New Media is a two-year full-time studio degree program again, of applied and academic study. Um, it builds on our reputation for excellent undergraduate education in areas of 3D art and animation, the moving image, interactive arts, digital design, and new media theory and culture. And the MFA in, fine art, or in New Media in Fine Arts uh, offers students the opportunity to join a dynamic community of artists, designers, and scholars. Uh, students will hone their creative talents using first-rate design and animation software, motion capture technology is available on campus, and digital video production equipment. The program offers an exceptional level of interaction between faculty and staff and students. New Media is supported by excellent studios, labs, specialized workshops, and digital facilities, um, which Tyler can tell you an awful lot more about than I can. Um, but these include things like teaching and research computer labs equipped with dedicated workstations for computer graphics and visual content development. Uh, green, green screen studios with digital photo studio facilities supported by digital video and photo cameras, dedicated mobile and studio lighting equipment kits, and professional sound recording and editing equipment. Uh, faculty research labs with cutting edge stereoscopic visualization technologies, motion capture studio based on Vicon technology, dedicated animation workstations integrated into the new media computer labs, and HD video and digital cameras, lighting kits, and sound equipment. Um, like the other programs, a completed application to the new media program will consist of unofficial transcripts, curriculum vitae, the 1500 word letter of intent, three, referen three confidential references, proof of English language proficiency, and a portfolio. And again, an interview may be required. Uh, the portfolio for new media uh, should include representative samples of current work, which could draw on any combination of design for digital media, interactive media, web, and video game work, 3D art and animation, digital video and film, or new media theory and culture work. Um, so that's it for the MFA programs. I'm gonna briefly now talk about the Masters of Music program, the MMUSE. The MMUSE degree is also a two-year full-time program of applied academic and creative study. The program allows students the opportunity to pursue graduate study in performance, composition, and digital audio arts, and to join a dynamic community of experienced and active professional musicians and scholars here at the university. Um, although most of our program is grounded in the various forms of classical music, uh, students are encouraged to study broadly and to synthesize their work into a personalized artistic expression. So 
In addition to required coursework, the MU's degree involves master classes and lectures with visiting artists and numerous performance recording and research opportunities on campus and in the larger community, culminating in an MU's thesis project. The MU's program provides advanced studio and digital audio art instruction in a wide range of areas. The music department is supported by numerous production facilities, a newly renovated recital hall, and two Steinway D concert grand pianos, and a Yamaha S6 handmade grand, Studio One, which is a world-class digital recording studio, and a 32-station musical technology lab and audio research lab. So for the Masters of Music program application, the following things are required. Again, unofficial transcripts, a CV that should include academic background, work experience, awards, scholarships, any other information relevant to the program. Um, a letter of intent indicating the direction of your current area of research and musical practice, um, and indicating the specific nature of your interest in the MU's program. Um, three references, again, who are willing to submit confidential recommendations. Um, you must have, for the MU's program, they require that um, you have studied with at least two of your three refer referees. Um, the English language proficiency, again, um, and a portfolio. The portfolio uh, should include material relevant to the study of your area. So applicants who are focused on performance should submit a video that displays a professional level of performing repertoire. Uh, applications focused on composition should submit scores and sound files with recordings of their work. Um, and applicants focused on audio engineering or electronic instrument interface should submit whatever materials they feel best support their proposed area of research for the MU's degree. Um, so within the Masters of Music, uh, once all application documents have been reviewed, shortlisted applicants will be invited to live auditions of approximately 30 minutes where they will again be required to display a professional level of repertoire. A short interview will occur following that audition. Um, and a placement test will also be given to assess the applicant's proficiency in music theory, musicianship skills, and music history. Um, so I'm going to talk briefly now about the thing that you're probably most interested in, which is the question of um, awards and scholarships. Um, so this is broadly true for all programs. Um, and regarding this, our model for SGS graduate student financial support is a merit-based award structure. And again, we do try and provide um, as much support as possible to as many of our student, incoming students as possible. Um, there are some awards that have no application, so your application for graduate study is also effectively an application for those awards. Um, these are assessed at the time that you apply for admission, and if awarded, you will be notified of these awards in your award letter. Um, these includes thing, include things like the Dean's Scholarship and the Tuition Awards. Uh, beyond that, we encourage you to look at the funding opportunities available through your home country. If you're not coming from Canada, often there are arts councils in home countries that support graduate study. Um, and also to investigate our SGS funding website listed on this slide, um, which will give you other resources for scholarship. And it's, it's worth noting here, I'll just bracket, that um, many, of the many of the opportunities for scholarships that are available, if you wish to hold them when you are beginning your program, the application may well be due before your, not necessarily before your application, but before you're on campus. Um, so it's a good idea if you are applying, meeting that February 1st application deadline, to also take a look at the funding resources at that time. Um, so that is it for me, and now I'm gonna turn the floor over to Tyler Heaton, who is doing the MFA in New Media, who will talk about his experience in the graduate programs. All right, you got me? Cool. Thank you, Professor Blum. Uh, so I'm just going to briefly go over my experience uh, as an MFA New Media student, uh, what my graduate experience has been thus far, and uh, what the process was like to get into the program, and uh, how it's been going uh, in this first year. So I am in my second year of studies. I began um, last year. I'm a graduate of the University of Lethbridge's New Media program which I came into actually as a mature student um, after working in post-secondary for quite a few years. Um, my interests were always in digital design, uh, visual uh, art, music, sound, and uh, towards the end of my focus was primarily on cinematography and film. 
um, which is to say that all of my work really has been about storytelling and that influenced uh, quite a bit what I went into for my thesis in my master's. Um, my master's thesis, actually let me just pull up my notes here, my master's thesis is focused on um, spatial media, primarily virtual reality. Um, I'm doing work in how media technology influences uh, the narrative uh, process um, and so how virtual reality as a technology influences the way we tell stories with that technology. Uh, my background has uh, made it so that I'm very interested in that uh, storytelling process. Um, the MFA uh, process for uh, applying was, uh, as it was outlined here, is very, very interesting. Uh, so I did my, my uh, written application, I uh, submitted my portfolio, and then uh, had an interview uh, with a, a, the graduate uh, group in fine arts, and specifically in my department, New Media, and just so they go through sort of where you're at and, and what your interests are and, and allow you to talk a little bit about what you would like to pursue. So that's something to really consider as you're applying is, um, you know, you don't have to have necessarily uh, the end um, exhibition or the end project already firmly in your mind, but you need to have a really good idea of what you would like to investigate. I think that's one of the most uh, interesting and amazing things about doing an MFA, um, studying uh, at a graduate level and doing research at a graduate level in the fine arts is that you get to investigate that question and explore those topics in a way that I don't think is possible uh, in any other um, in any other way, right? So being able to create a project, being able to do creative work to answer a question is, is very different than, than other forms of research, but it is definitely a form of research, and that's uh, something that I like to focus on uh, quite a bit. I can't imagine uh, doing my work in, in researching narrative uh, in any other way than through creating uh, these virtual reality experiences that I'm working on. The, I want to speak a little bit about the pace of the degree. Uh, so as you enter into the degree, your first year is a combination of project work and thesis work and also coursework. Um, it's quite balanced, so you may spend the first semester doing two courses, your second semester doing two courses, and then the remainder of your degree is focused primarily on that project work and that thesis work. Um, you, in New Media specifically, uh, we do two, two required courses and two electives. And it was really great to take a look at what was available uh, across the institution for that elective work in finding courses that enhanced and supported the work that I was doing um, in my graduate degree. And also being able to have the experience of working with undergraduate students, but from a different perspective and at a different level. Uh, as a graduate student, you really get an opportunity to mentor uh, undergraduates. Um, I guess one way of saying it is you find out how much you actually know when you start um, working at a different at a different level, because you're doing your your thinking and your research at a, at a different level, but what I've also found is that um, through that interaction, there's a lot of undergraduates that are doing it at that same level, which is really fantastic about our institution. Um, is that everybody is, especially in the fine arts, is engaging it at a very high level. Uh, so in the second year, which I'm in now, I'm very focused just on my project work and that thesis that supports that thesis paper that supports it. Um, the other really important thing that is, you need to be aware of as a graduate student here is that graduate assistantship. So that can be in the form of a teaching assistantship or a research assistantship. Um, so for my uh, first year, I did two GAs, or graduate assistantships. Um, uh, one was in developing a course and supporting the technology around that course. Another one was uh, in supporting our uh, data physicalization lab and um, doing work around that. In my second year, I'm, I'm fortunate to work as a research assistant um, on a, a project that is uh, funded by the Social Sciences Humanities Research Council um, with some professors, and it's a multidisciplinary um, project, which is quite fantastic. Uh, so you'll get an opportunity to do that kind of work, which is great because it allows you to access the faculty within your own department, the faculty members within our faculty broadly in fine arts, but also faculty from across the institution and really broaden um, your degree and broaden your, your work. Um, you're able to do two, um, two GA ships per term now, 
uh, for a total of 224 hours. So each GA ship is 112 hours and you're able to hold two of those. And one of them is typically funded by the School of Graduate Studies. Um, and another one may be able to be funded through uh, research grants um, and other sources. So you're, you're able to do a maximum of two, which is, which is you know, if you, can, if you can swing it and you can balance it, that's a good, good way to broaden your studies um, and support the thesis work that you're doing. Uh, that's, that's been my experience. Um, as I said, I'm halfway through. Um, I'm really enjoying this environment. It is a dynamic environment. It is full of um, talented and interesting scholars and people who are here to support your research and your vision. Um, it's very forward thinking. Um, our institution uh, encourages a broad range of, of interests and topics and allows you to really go after something that you, you want to investigate, and you know, whether that's on the cutting edge or not. Um, so you know, of course I can speak only to my experience in new media, but I've um, had friends and colleagues in other uh, areas doing other graduate degrees who have uh, really been able to e expand and explore um, a diver diverse range of topics. Yeah, so that's, that's been my experience. I don't, are there any questions? Um, Coming to a slide, okay. And uh, yeah, I'll advance the slide there. Yeah, questions, there we go. So of course, we'll be around um, for the rest of the day uh, to answer any questions uh, if you, people have specific questions for us. Um, and uh, there's always uh, ways to contact um, us through the departments and through the faculty and through the School of Graduate Studies. Um, yeah, the, that's, that's what I have to add to that. Exuent.